In this video, you will learn how to create handwritten answer keys using the app called NoteShelf. This app has a red icon that you can buy on the App Store, and it does cost $9.99. When you activate the app, you should see a sample book sitting on this bookshelf. As you can see, these are my books that I've created, but it's really not books, just let you know it's more like documents. Um, it could be one page document or several pages. So let's create um, an answer key from scratch. So you see the button on the upper right corner with a plus symbol. Go ahead and touch that to create a document. You will then see a gray box with several options. The top box is if you just want to pick the default book, which means it comes with its own default paper type and default cover, whereas you will probably want to customize the notebook. You probably want this option because then you can choose graph paper, line paper, and etc. and choose your own cover and name the document as well. So here you see um, several options. Here is where you title the document. This is all the selections that you can have for paper type. So for, as math teachers, we often want graph paper. They do have different size grids. And then the cover of your notebook. You can choose, there's several to choose from. And last, you do need to touch create so that it will create your notebook. You will then see your brand new notebook sitting on the bookshelf. All you have to do is touch the document to open it up. So here's uh, my brand new notebook with graph paper that I've chosen. So I want to let you know two important icons. This one right here will save your work and take you back to the note to the bookshelf. Okay. This one is called palm rejection, which is important. If you write and rest your palm on the iPad, it'll read your palm, so it'll make smudge marks everywhere. So you want to activate palm rejection so that it won't read your palm and will only read your stylus. Now you have an option of writing with any stylus, even a cheap $1 one, which works great. Or you can use your finger too if you don't have one. Here I want to show you the pen option. Um, right now I have ballpoint pen on. You, here's how you can change. This little bar here gives you the option to change to pencil to a highlighter as well as to calligraphy. This is the thickness of your pen or pencil. I usually like three because it's the right size for me. And after you figure out what pen is your favorite, you can always make it your favorite pen and it'll go into like a favorite list of pens of yours. And I will talk about more and other things here that you can do. This will clear certain parts of a page or the whole page. This is undo. This will cut out certain sections if you want to remove text that you made a boo-boo on. This is a highlighter. It'll pop up a bunch of color highlights. This is an eraser. This will allow you to type text from a keyboard. These are emojis. This is um, allows you to import an image, a picture, onto your document. This allows you to record what you're writing. Um, so if you are recording a lesson or a workshop somewhere, it will record that for you. This is Zoom. This is this cogwheel is like the setting. And this is to export your document to another location. Here is an answer key I created, handwriting with my finger. I use the pen. To write this, I use an emoji icon. I highlighted the number two with this. Hand drew a graph, changed to a pencil mode using that tool. I changed to calligraphy pen using the same tool. And then I typed some words using that tool. And then I import an image that I found on Google Images. I just cut and paste using that tool. Sometimes we need to create an answer key that's from a worksheet that we hand out to students and the worksheet might not be something you can type the answer on using Word, so we need to hand write the answers. So this is how to create a worksheet answer key. 
the worksheet needs to exist already as a PDF file and it needs to be saved in Google Drive. So you activate Note Shelf and it takes you to the bookshelf and you're going to create an, a new document right here. Instead of customizing a notebook, you're going to import the worksheet from Google Drive. After you find the file in Google Drive, you select the file. Now I want to make a note that you need to have Google Drive, the app, already on your iPad and you already have to be logged into Google Drive so it knows um, your account name. It has all your files already in the Google Drive app so that you can get to this folder and, and access your files. So I chose a worksheet called Pretest 1. Then Note Shelf wants to give it a, a colorful cover and then you just press create. You will then see your worksheet saved on the bookshelf with the color band around it. Normally you just touch the notebook to, to open it up. But I just want to let you know what this little button is for. This is the edit button. When you touch that, these little bubbles show up. X will allow you to delete the entire document. The little pencil will allow you to edit it. Editing means you can change the paper type, you can change the color band around it, and you can change the title of the document. So it's only on the outside that it allows you to change. X will delete it. If you want to be able to write inside the document, you will need to just touch the notebook itself. Once you are in the document, you can start writing the answers by activating the pen tool right here. And you can just write with your finger or a stylus. You will need to save the document with this icon here. It'll take you back to the bookshelf. And then you just need to tap your document again to reopen it. And now you will need to export it to Google Drive to save. And so this is the icon that will allow you to export. So the process is write your answers, save with this icon, open it back up, and then export it here. When you export, it shows all of the pages of this document. Sometimes you may not want to export all the pages. I don't know why, but I would export all the answers. So this document has two pages. You will need to select by touching that, and then it will let you select the pages. You will see some choices down here. If you have many pages, it's probably easier to touch here, select all. Whereas if I only have two pages, I can just touch the first, touch the second page, and I've selected both. After you've selected the pages, you're going to export with this tool down here. Then this little menu pops up. It's very important that you select PDF, not image. And then second, touch Google Drive. And it will bring up Google Drive, and then you just have to navigate through your folders to make sure it's in the right UBD folder and all that, and then it's done. And then you can import back and forth. If you figure out that, oops, I made a boo-boo on my answer key, just re-import back into Note Shelf, erase and fix the answers, save it, and export back to Google Drive. That is it.